Hello and welcome to this episode of Partner Connect, where our partner today is Stackla. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a demonstration from a colleague of mine named Rob Enright, who did a proof of concept showing how easy it is to integrate Stackla with Watson Content Hub. But before we do that, let's go ahead and learn a little bit about Stackla and why it's so important. Marketers have more ways than ever to reach consumers, but not enough content to support personalized omnichannel experiences. Branded generated content is actually being ignored. Brands are spending almost three times more year over year in branded content, while only 5% of branded content even gets noticed. Meanwhile, almost 2.5 billion pieces of user-generated content are created every day by people across social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. User-generated content is getting noticed. It strengthens consumer trust. 92% of consumers trust earned media content over owned media and 81% of purchase decisions are peer influenced. So let's go ahead and see how Stackla actually works. So here we have all of this content coming in and it comes into Stackla's curated engine, which has technology like visual recognition, location determination, it captures demographic data, it understands what language it's in, and it can also identify products within the content. This then goes through a recommendations engine where the user of Stackla, the administrator or the marketer, can actually say yay or nay on the found content. And that content, once it's approved, saying, hey, we would like to use this in our marketing emails or website, it actually goes through a rights management process where Stackla would actually reach out to the content owner and, and ask them if they could have rights to use the content. It could be as simple as a hashtag yes response or they could be sent to a form to fill out where they would just provide all of the information and then it's approved or not. Once it actually goes through rights management, it's then posted to a DAM or CRM. And in this case, Watson Content Hub. It could also go directly to content display, things like websites, advertising, emails. Uh, it could help you know, with increased uh, conversions or it could actually be posted to live experiences similar to what we did at our sales academy um, within Watson Customer Engagement where Stackla was actually uh, put up on the big screen at the event and all of the content being tweeted and posted on social networks was actually being shown in these big giant feeds on the big screen and people could see all their tweets and their pictures and their selfies uh, in the event. So it was pretty cool. It got you know a very good reception uh, at the event and people really liked seeing their content out on the big screen. And it, of course, it caused uh, a lot of great conversations, which is pretty cool. The other thing it, it, uh, Stackla offers are developer tools. It has fully REST API, JavaScript, and even webhooks that you can use to bring the content into your uh, applications like your mobile applications or your websites. So now that we understand what Stackla is, let's go ahead and see what Rob came up with in his demo because it's very cool and very compelling. So let's go ahead and watch it. So basically what we've got is a series of terms and these terms, um, what they do is they can go to um, various um, social networks and look for, uh, do a particular search and return that. And then you kind of aggregate these together using uh, a particular tag. So here we've got uh, YouTube and Twitter being combined with furniture design. And again, YouTube and Twitter here being combined with um, smart home. You can then curate the content. So if I go into uh, here, what we'll see is all of the content that's coming through and you can automatically publish that or you can um, put it into queue and then publish it um, manually. And then that gets pushed out um, into 
uh, the display and we use kind of particular widgets um, to display that user generated content so here we we'll see I think we've got um, a number of different um, ways of uh, displaying the content in the context of your site and if we just go back here um, we've also got uh, a number of filters so we can filter by uh, prioritize by like votes uh, greatest and um, latest and we also have um, in here the actual tags the terms itself now the, the tags can be um, either kind of generic tags or they can be uh, product tags that then link to uh, a particular product item so if I go um, back into the content and what I've got is a uh, one of these guys which I've already pinned so if we go into uh, that so if we just do refine by and hit PIM then uh, what I can do is I can go in here and I can add a shop spot so if I search for my uh, smart home tag here this is just an example but basically um, we can pull in those uh, categories um, from commerce and associate that with a particular category ID that we can then use to say okay um, I'm not doing it here but we could add some uh, product um, pricing example for example and this link uh, can link to another uh, item in the storefront so um, yeah for example say we had a, a link to this table then we can you know uh, as users click on this link they can get taken to the, the table so let's go and see how we can use some of this in the context of WCH so I've got my um, home page here and what I'm going to do is add in uh, one of those uh, user generated content widgets so let's go ahead and create a draft so we've got my uh, items here so I've got my let's see doo -doo 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 -doo, my home page widget here now we'll see as it's um, added I've already configured this so it's going ahead and coming back so we had a promotion on um, smart home and it's coming back and finding kind of uh, items about the smart home so let's see you know how that was set up so if I go in in, in here uh, what we've got is we've got this uh, title here we've got the tags that I'm looking for and then we've got the order by or the, the, the filter so this is filtering by latest and if I go in and create a draft um, what we can also see here is um, I could change you know to furniture design um, change the tag I could change the filter but I can also change the layout here so I've mapped a particular layout to a particular widget and what that will do is when it uh, updates here so you can see that it uh, will change the, um, the the look and feel here so it changes the way that this is being uh, rendered so as we go through I mean obviously this is a kind of simple uh, integration but you get the idea that you know we can uh, you know very easily integrate this uh, user generated content um, into the into the site so what I'm going to do is uh, publish that and let's go back home uh, and we're, we'll publish this and maybe we'll come back to the the final site um, in a, a little while so the other thing that I want to show uh, now is how we can um, take the dynamically take the tags off of uh, a piece of content item and then actually target and tailor this um, uh, use generated content a little bit more based on those um, particular tags. So what I've got again is another um, UGC widget here. Um, but what I've done is I've turned on dynamic search and now what that will do is it will take uh, basically take a message from this guy 
to say um, what tags are we dealing with. It'll take the first tag and then do a search on that in in the, the user generated content. So let's take a look and see um, how that might work. So if I go into my um, article here, what I'm going to do is go into uh, my tags and I'm going to let uh, Watson analyze the tags here. You can see it comes up with architecture architect. Right now we see this uh, has changed and it's picked up the, uh, the architecture tag. And um, also let's just go back to uh, my home page here. So if we've uh, if it's updated yet, uh, yep, there we go. It's updated with the user generated content. So if I go in here now, and you remember this little guy, what we can do is uh, hit by now, and you see in in the background this has changed, and it's actually going just to another article. But you could take it to a uh, a product page, as I said, and that way you can use that user generated content to drive um, through to particular products. That concludes the demo. Wow, that was a great demo, and I really appreciate Rob for taking the time to uh, to do that proof of concept and putting it together. Uh, he he showed how easy it was to integrate Stackla with Watson Content Hub, and also he showed how you can do product overlays for actually purchasing products within the content. So I think this is a very cool application. I think it fits perfectly with the Watson customer engagement portfolio, and it gives our com customers a competitive advantage of using all of that user-generated content out there for their marketing uh, campaigns. So if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Partner Connect. Thanks for watching.